Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to take you through what I hope is my final installment on my Learjet cabin pressure panel for my home cockpit flight simulator. Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to take a second stab at finishing this uh, Learjet cockpit pressure panel. Uh, I got some new Arduinos instead of the dreaded ones in the last video. Still bitter over those things. I should have done my reading, but I didn't. My fault. Um, so I switched over from the Pro Micro to the Nano that arrived. Unfortunately, they arrived with headers already installed. So I set this one up in the breadboard. I'm going to have to either remove the headers or do a, throw a, a female header block on and solder the wires onto that. I really just wanted to solder to the board. So uh, it won't matter for this. Uh, no one's going to see it but me. And it's kind of nice if I can steal the Arduino and reuse it for something else. But uh, that's what it looks like. This is the entire circuit for the Lear 45 uh, pressure panel. These are the encoders. This is a up earlier use it for something else. Uh, I got bags of these, I think 20 in a bag for dirt cheap uh, from overseas. So I've actually got two bags of those. I've tested them, they work great. These are the ones I've just been mocking, mocking the, the build up with. I printed some uh, knobs for the panel. These should do in a pinch, just need to paint them. I'm pretty happy with that. I got my printer dialed in a little better. I can actually do lines on them now better you can actually see the the, uh, the edge detail on that so I'm pretty happy with that so hopefully the next shot will be of this mounted in the panel which uh, Ron Rollo was nice enough to provide me from Florida pretty happy with this this was a this is not a new panel this is a this is one of his old ones so I'm super happy with that it'll do my purposes anyway let's mock it up well, here we are with the display mounted in the panel. Had a, quite a few problems. Ended up being my code. Uh, these displays change slightly um, by model, by production run or whatever. They did need different contrast settings, and I had forgot I used the contrast to turn the display off for avionics. Anyway, I forgot to change that. Ended up changing this display twice. So, uh, won't miss, make that mistake again. Let's plug it in and see what it looks like. We get it plugged in. There we go. Hopefully, it'll fire up and we should see a splash screen. I'll turn this a little more towards the camera, maybe. Maybe snuggle in a little bit further. And with any luck, we should be interface to FSX. Let's try turning the avionics off and on. Oh, looks like I've got to reinitialize the link to FS for. I before I started videoing, I was monkeying with COM ports. So live and learn. Don't start the video until you know what's going to work. There we go. So we're live. Let's turn avionics off. Perfect. Backlight turns off, display turns off, avionics on. Check that out. That's pretty cool. I'm just going to uh, see if I can get a better angle yet, maybe. I'm just going to stop the video and restart it here. There, little camera readjustment. Anyway, uh, I've got my 3D printed knobs I haven't painted, and I just have dummy covers in the panel. Here we go with the manual rate, the landing altitude. With any luck, Within five seconds, perfect. Should be exactly five seconds and we'll revert to the main screen, which is exactly what the real layer does. So, um, obviously, we're not using manual or eight, um, so we're not in manual mode. And we just got a little bit of work, so let's move the landing altitude up to, let's see, my local airport. So, it's 700 feet, should be five seconds, and it should revert. Perfect. Okay. Let's try unpausing the sim, throwing on some full throttle here on the Lear, and we'll see if we can get the thing off the ground. 
So um, you can see I had to offset it slightly to the bottom and the display isn't the perfect size for the layer but I just 3D printed this bezel on my solid oodle and it seems to look pretty good. And we are airborne. Well, we're still falling here for the moment because I fell into a gully. <laughs> Don't take off, uh, off runway. There we go. We've got cabin altitude, delta pressure, and our climb rate. Let's see, we'll lower that down a smidge and we'll see if we can get down below 600 feet a minute. The real air tops out at 600. It's as fast as the cabin will change pressure. Let's see if we can nose this thing down a smidge. That's really there. Oh, that's more than a smidge, but there we go. 375 is our max rate of descent on the cabin, and uh, I have to say I'm pretty happy with that. The numbers line up pretty good with the Legends. Not perfect, as I had to offset it a bit just due to the size of the display, but uh, yeah, these things we got to live with. I'm quite pleased with that. And if we uh, turn the avionics off, all gone. Perfect. I am really pleased with that. I'm going to call it done. I'm going to paint this knobs, the, the knobs for it, start getting the uh, switch caps on, and we're going to call it complete. Thanks for watching.